Oh, shit. Oh. Bro, why didn't you say something earlier? I was talking this whole time. I was talking the whole time. Why didn't you say anything earlier? Hold on, let me make sure... Okay, yeah, so my mic is going... Bro. Thunder, I was talking that entire time. Why didn't you say that earlier? You know, I usually I usually talk during the, um, what's called thing? So, I, I, as soon as you came in, I said, I said, hey... Then I, I asked you if you did your your uh, your 28 push-ups. I thought you responded to me, cause you you literally respond. You literally messaged right immediately after I said something. Then I said, um, then I then I th so I thought you responded to me, and I so I was like, oh, you're slacking. But apparently, but I guess you didn't you didn't weren't even responding to me. But yeah, I, I was talking this entire time by guy. What the hell? Nice, nice. Yeah, I was, I was, I was saying that I, I, you, you, I was also complaining that you missed last night's stream, because the name of the stream was "Where the fuck is the soil?" We was gonna find the soil together. I was playing Brotato, you know. I was seeing what it was like to be an agent of chaos, a chaotic potato that wields six guns. You got told to go to sleep at like 1 a.m. I mean, one yeah, at 1 p.m. Oh, you meant, um... Die. Die. Oh, wait, no, you, oh, you meant last night. Okay, never mind, never mind. That makes Everything sense, that makes sense. That I loved. Yeah, it, it was like AM. No, that, that makes sense, that makes sense. Alright, I have now eaten. He's gone now. I have drinking my water. Because I ate, because I had to drink something. Yeah, no, no, it, it was, um, it was late at night. I had to, I had to find the soil without you, and I still didn't find it.
I was trying to pick up my my uh, my pro controller, and I picked up my fucking mouse instead. Uh, uh, I wonder how you got in here. Get good food. Good food. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Wait, Zoro had the low had it Zoro had the soil? So do I play the definitive way to play this game? Or the not definitive way? Definitive or poser? Definitive. You gotta be a real one, you know. You gotta, you gotta be the original. I've seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Does this matter? Yeah, yeah. You understand? Wait, why does why does my why is the VTuber's mouth not moving when I talk? Is it working now? Just put it at a full sensitivity. There we go. That's much better. Alright. Am I a ghost, a demon, or a mortal? Which 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 one which one should I be? Okay, I gotta change this so that he looks where is it? Uh Where's the thing that makes it so that it changes the direction? I am a demon. Ten points to whoever you knows where that's from. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Oh, they won't even let me say that. All right, I'm all right. Let's go. I'm a ghost. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Ah, uh, so the only option you have is is mortal. What's the point? Go on. What's the point? Do I keep the Do I keep the uh, official name, or sh or do I do something uh, something different, or do I be unique? What would you got? What should it be? Be in front of it. This just gonna be violent. <laughs> violent. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that would be dumb. Um. Hmm. Yes, violent. <laughs> My name is Babylith. <laughs> Alright, fine. We're gonna do Babylith. Violet BT? <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. Alright, yeah, that, that is funny. 
super violent BT. <laughs> Why? Oh, I can't. It's it's not a, it's not enough space. All right, it's just gonna be violet BT. But violet BT. No H. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Why? I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? It makes it better, I know. Okay, do I put my actual my actual birthday? What's my birth? What is my date of birth? I... Uh, I think it actually does somehow matter at some point of the game. I think it actually somehow changes my stats in some way. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. I think she says that regardless of what you pick. Hmm. It all feels so... Familiar. I think it may be time for get another nap. <sighs> it is almost time to. <sighs> so I three D printed a Hydra and Jet. All right, I go back to the kitchen to get food. Heard, he's gonna go find the soil in the hey, kitchen. Time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? I'll show you a dream again. Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. Battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. I don't want to get killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Okay, so like trying to remember Gerald, that sir, sorry to barge the button on the right is, is the, is the A button and not the button that on the bottom, which is the B button. Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother. It's been a while since I played the Switch. I'm sorry. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. Hey, Bonzi, I... is he still here? Wait, that uniform. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Ready? I'm not ready. I'm never ready. Remember, kids, if you're never ready, you don't never gotta get ready. <coughs> I don't remember anything about the story. That's why I started over. I'm probably just gonna delete those save files. This is my new save file.
Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Okay. Stay focused. Get these hands! Fucking would be very good to the Urban One Zero. Yeah, I remember how to play Fire Emblem. Ready and willing. Underestimate an outsider. <clears throat> I'll show you an outsider. Battle phase is yet. I will prevail. Why can't I make you move? I'll cut through. Advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. <clears throat> Terrain effects actually matter. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without. Forest has many terrain types. Keep an eye out for others, such as uh, thickets and heel tiles. <clears throat> You can see the effects of terrain by placing your cursor over it. You have a strange aura. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you... You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. Opportunity. It's the combat art. They do not typically allow for follow-up attacks. You may start a new combat arts when their weapon skills go up. There are no combat arts for reason or faith. Those skills can't grant magic instead. Which, which, which um, house should I pick? Which house should I pick? It's a good, it's a good question. I need to know. You never had a chance. Do you even know the options?
Which house is closer to the soil? I have no idea. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. I can I can go red, blue, or yellow. Why are there mercenaries in the village? I can go valor, yes, mystic, we'll or instinct. That was that was Pokemon Yellow reference. Oh, now you want to move. Oh, uh, okay, okay, if you E? If you E? Okay, if yeah. you don't know the answer, you, you can pick the third option. So go instinct. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, see, he's missed it. That guy's missed it. So yeah, the one that's getting beat up right now, that's missed it. Dimitri. Don't take my kills! Uh, no! My I want to level my peoples up. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easy. When you attack an enemy that is also attacking one of our units, it will trigger a link attack. During link attacks, you are, your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal link attacks. Between certain units will also raise might. Good use of linked attack is key to defeating powerful enemies. This is, is instinct. Use caution. So all I understood from that is to share the kill. Share the kill of what? I must keep you mean the, um, the link, link attacks? Wait, you, mis you misunderstood how linked attacks work? Uh, basically, if I ha if one unit is uh, can attack that can attack an, uh, an enemy. <laughs> And then I have another enemy, another unit I also attack that enemy. Then they then they work together. Honestly, and the one that's the one that's currently attacking gets a boost. It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> Well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sophus, but I'm also known as the Beginning. Sothis. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sophus. Yeah. And yeah, I'm assist. also called the Beginning. 
beginning. But who once called me that? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Yes. Phooey! That child's just saved your life. And what does that make you? A person the child just saved. <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but aren't you truly an adult? You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. I'll stop your flow of time. Hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. Perhaps I should force you to leave? There now, is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Uh. How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? I'll just stay here and wait to die. As though I could stand idly by and watch that come to pass. Oh, but perhaps... Mayhaps. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Nah, I'm gonna do it again. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. I'm gonna just jump in front in front of Edelgard again. How dare you fight me right now? Ha! <laughs> Are you losing? Ha <laughs> ha, you lost. Hey, over here! Hey, did you just... The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Now you get to, now you get to lose hey, again. The thieves are running away. Or not. Go after them. What? How did I win the first time? The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? How did I win the first uh, time? What? Why him? So you see, my little guy forgot he has a good weapon. It is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Fair enough, fair enough. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Don't be beating up Ark. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, 
that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? He is a stranger to me. I'm a bandit. Oh, great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. They do seem to us. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Gerald, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Sarah. Are you just gonna battle Alt everybody that I battle? The strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased, chased after, after us. us. Utterly <laughs> ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me? Naive? Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian yeah, Empire. Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. So here, this is Please, where, the, where the choice is coming. Do consider returning to the Kingdom with me? Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? No, no, not yellow. Uh, yeah, it's yellow. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique.
His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. She's a refined young woman, but I feel as though she's always evaluating. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy, was it here? Oh, I may be sleeping. Why are you just fighting everybody that I fight? Find your own opponents. Part one, white clouds, great tree moon, three houses. The icy winds of the Agua Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fogland, heralding the start of a new year. Never. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Damn, I just need one more. The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom there we of go. Arcus, I got my one. ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Relative, I want chaos. No chaos. There it is. No Very chaos for you. Monastery. Cannon actually can fight back. No. How did I lose to Cannon? I lost a cannon. He's like level three and I lost to him. What? I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place forced to see her now. Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Archbishop? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. 
The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jack. My name is Seth. Good. So to my tiny you. person didn't right. lose. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Jerry. Nah, tiny person don't lose. Was it the will of the gods? Deserves to lose. Have another chance you don't, like you don't deserve to win. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? You must at least show the basic courtesy of telling us your name. Do you not think you are being a bit rude to the Archbishop? No, I don't. It is all right, Sedith. My dear, I am called Rhea. I am the Archbishop of the Church of Sedith. How dare you make me put truth, on a mustache? I was only being polite. I already know your name, and a fine name it is. From the bottom of my heart, I thank there. you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Mustache. Gerald. And of course. You already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? Bigger. I won't say Bigger. no, but. Your apprehension seems. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Perfect. I figured you would waste more points on making it bigger. Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. But, uh... Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short of professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle now I must decide there. what game to Good stream. Luck. Um, yes. Switch. Watch out. Something on the Switch. Switch. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanuman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. Yeah. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Yeah. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. And available. You're a physician? <laughs> <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to... Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who's in line to be the next Emperor. 
The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the I'll next you, emperor, Duke. king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the academy. I'll say. I just so all I hear is make as much chaos trouble. as possible. Yes. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you have a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh. And keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some yeah, odd have ducks that. in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald's character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Ye. Yeah. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. I pray that nothing comes to betray that confidence. I remember that chick. I also remember that other one with the hat. That was the only two I really remember. Because I was playing this on um, Edelgard's route. Never finished it. Do I get a different team if I choose if I get a different people? Alright, 
right, now we can actually play. I assume go. you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Professor task to medieval people around the monastery. Those who can give you, who can give or are involved in quests will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quest you have accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate their status. surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Uh -huh. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Isn't there a... wait, isn't there a... a um... Why is that a thing? Uh... I don't think it's gonna let me. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. Cause I... Yeah, I know. I don't have it. B or Y, okay. I knew that. I knew it was a dash button. There we go. This room was completely empty. What do you think? I right, can't talk to y'all. Can't talk to you. Cat. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to y'all. All y'all suck. Okay. This whole table sucks. No name has glitches. Nah. Huh? Uh -huh. Pardon me. Yeah. Greetings. You must be the new professor. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah. And by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. As of now, nothing to report. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbach. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. 
heir apparent. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? So yeah, no, nah, so, so yeah, I'm not gonna get these t these characters. So yeah, now nah, I remember everybody in this list. So you've accepted a teaching I I am the poor wonder. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant even. But there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Hubert is the... You may be... For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Ayo, which produces Adrestia's okay. prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. He's remarkably intelligent. But he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Cat nap. It take, if the unit takes no a action except weight, recovers up to 10% of max HP. That's actually a good ability. He's remarkable. If he had He's the second son of Count Berglis. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Why is this saying it's an error? She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. Wait, Thunder, are you I still here? Do I have to leave? Is, is the stream working? Leave, but don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not is the stream still working sure for you? Brought her to the Officers Academy. I didn't even see what what a songstress really does. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House. She's a. Ah, yeah, that's a guess. That's a good to the west of Fotland is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter right, of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Deer houses for students of the Lester. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Talk to the cat. Right, right. Hello. There's a 
hell of a lot of cats in this game. And they all just lay down as soon as you walk over them. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any yeah, case, I you, I haven't even welcome it, to the monastery. I uh, picked a decision yet. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me. But I understand if that can't be helped. Oh, he, so he, just, he just levels up fast as hell. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Felix is the heir to House Raldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Interesting, interesting. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Ah, it's great chasing. It's actually a good ability, though. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Oh, so she heals herself and others? Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking, but brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Hey, yo, how do you do that? No, 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 Me, not, not you. I'm Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Lady Knight grants might plus three and hit plus five with gambits? No weaknesses. That's, that's some good. Right, right. Please accept my apologies for the eye of delight. In any case, I hear you're investigating the different houses. That's, uh... Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? All right, let's look, let's, let's look at the, the team you <laughs> want to your pick. interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little oh, by so little. Oh, have that. Yeah, they all have the, uh, multiplying experience. <laughs> he's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. 
That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Either deals two damage while in formation with the Batillion. That's good, because the Batillion be He comes from a merchant different. family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. Goodie basket. Chance to recover up to 10 max HP. Okay, that's good. For, for free? All you gotta do is just have the high luck? son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Grant's hit plus 20? What? Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and it's probably oh, shit. I'm using her here. Double but skill? Watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Alright, yeah, she's dope, she's dope. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddled her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Adjacent male allies deal, ex deal three extra damage during combat. Bro, imagine if I could mix her with the other guy with the, the other guy from the uh, from the blue house, the blue lions. Like the one that um that does the extra damage if he's next to a girl. So mix it with mix her with the, with her, that would be fucking broken. Do an extra like six I mean, seven damage, bro? No, five damage? For every attack? I wasn't. I, I, I Leonie enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver too. I think she's hoping to repay her village. Oh, for mixing with this with her here. too? Both of them? All right. Yeah. Did her. So her and her. I'm gonna make. We're gonna be working with him probably. I appreciate your effort. What do you think? Hi. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude. Oh, you are? Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Your name is what now? <laughs> it's like this. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Oh, y'all don't, don't matter. You also don't matter. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? <laughs> Must be that renowned mercenary. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will remember it. Don't tell me what I will and won't remember. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hello. Yes. A moment, please. 
can't I enter? What do you think? How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Golden so Deer House, because that's what Thunder chose for correct? some reason. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I pictured. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights! Don't tell me. Well, you chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. Mm. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment. Becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I, I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I bet I packed on more. I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights, Saros. I heard. Nice. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and the peerless mercenary. matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. I'll show you some respect. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. 
How I'll savage. Me. I propose a nice <laughs> conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. I feel like I'm just going to probably get a little bit, do a little bit more, then I'm going to take a break and come back. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. You don't know about crests. Well, allow me to tell you everything. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand they are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for as I said. Crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. There's no need to look into it. I most strongly disagree. There absolutely is a need. My crest research is of critical importance to the church, I'll have you know. Since you are now a professor here, I must insist that you aid in my research. Of course, there are those who lack the foresight to aid in my endeavors, such as that stubborn Seth. But such individuals are the rare exception. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm. And I stand by device. the fact that Dark's a bitch. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more recent. Hmm, what could this line here be indicated? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend pitch, to do at least each I ain't gonna month end up with a hunting season. 
tonight. I'm not gonna be be end up on a hunting season either. Cause it's rabbit season. Actually, no, no, no. It's not rabbit season, cause that would that, that means it'll be that means it's buddies. That means for bunny. No, it's uh, it's dark season. It's it's potato season. Let's yeah, that's what it is. It's potato season. I'm not a potato anymore. Nah. It is. It's 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 a dark nut season then. Yeah, I am. I'm going to take a break and then come back. That was a, it was a lot of uh, exposition in this game. So. gonna kill he's gonna kill Jamal wait who the fuck is Jamal who the fuck is that I don't even know who that is I had to come back I don't know who the hell that is what damn he's gonna kill Jamal what one guy Somebody give me give me something somebody to raid into. Find somebody to raid into. Give me a raid. Buddy thrice the third? The hell does that even mean? You know what? We're, we're, we're gonna raid into somebody else who's playing this game. 